Coming up, top European Union stories from the UNIT website include EU nations agree to Eurozone banking union In 2011, EU migrants sent 40 billion euros back home Russia won't be taking any more lectures from the European Union Dr. Eric Edmonds is back in the blog seat with a look back at 1972. And tonight, in a slightly extended nightly news, I bring you an exciting discovery of archive footage which tells of what would come to pass. I'm Rick Timmis, and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, the European Union's 27 countries agreed to hand the European Central Bank the authority to directly supervise the Eurozone's biggest banks. Interestingly, the Telegraph reports that Britain and Sweden have won safeguards to ensure the ECB cannot ram through rules. However, an earlier report this week already announced that Britain would be powerless to ignore new financial rulings because of EU legal supremacy. Which position is correct appears to be still in dispute. This article is vital reading and I will be referring to it again later in this programme. Eurostat announced on Tuesday that its data collated for 2011 showed that 39.1 billion euros transferred back from the country of origin. More interestingly, of this figure, 75% of the total was transferred by migrant workers back to countries outside of the Eurozone, equating to some 28.5 billion euros. This article digs further into the figures and provides statistics for some of the individual member states too. Russia has taken the moral high ground with regard to the deepening crisis in the European Union. In this article, Dmitry Babic reports on further looming bailouts for Portugal and goes on to investigate how Latin America is closing the gap between it and Europe in the table of dominant economies. Finally, he reminds us that at the end of the Soviet Union, the then European community would not write off a single penny of Russia's debts. Now the tide has turned and the distraught European Union should expect an equal measure of generosity in return. In our Euroeconomics section, Dr. Eric Edmonds takes a reminiscent look back at 1972 and discusses his memories during the time the European Communities Bill passed through Westminster. In addition, Eric has discovered radio commentary footage of a debate between Powell and Foote, recorded in 1973. As always, this article is defined by Eric's excellent writing style. Links to the article are below. Today, in our video library, I have discovered some old footage from a video produced by the Sanity Group. This film, Lord Stoddart of Swindon, European Union Shockwaves, it explores and demonstrates how Britain has been assimilated into a United States of Europe. I think this isn't happening? Take a look at this archive footage which discusses what was to happen and how. Looking at this video again, you will see how frighteningly accurate it really was. After watching the video, you will realise the extent of the problems we face here in the UK. Look through the internet media and press sites and you will see the hot topic is the moves in the United States of America to grab power and control by the state. If you Google for NDAA, Patriot Act, TSA, Department of Homeland Security, you'll see what I'm talking about. My fears and worries are that what happens in America often comes to the UK. The end result? a government body with a tyrannical power of control over its people. My research has led me to realise that the situation is worse, far worse. You see, we're not behind America in respect to state control. We're ahead, years ahead. You can see from our lead story, Barroso announced that agreement for a banking union was reached and this will pass financial control to the European Central Bank. On Wednesday, we reported on the website that David Cameron is powerless to stop the influence such a banking union will have on us in Britain. 
The time has come for a new plan of effort because we're about to lose our ability to decide laws, powers and governance for ourselves. Our only defence is information. The more informed people are, the more likely they are to see this and to say no to this. Enjoy the film. It's amazingly accurate. And help us spread the word by sharing it with others. The links are below. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. Finally, of course, you can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Rick Timmis for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. <laughs>